A few months ago, I got a very incredible opportunity to go to a summer camp in the greater Yellowstone area, an opportunity which I am extremely grateful that I was able to have. And it was a very profound, had a very profound impact on my life. And the last thing we did at this camp was we attempted to summit the Grand Teton. So we started hiking one day at around 10 o'clock and we hiked all the way up to the saddle which is the ridge line between the Grand and Middle Tetons. And then we camped the night and woke up at 3 in the morning the next day. Climbed and climbed and climbed and at about like 7.45 we were almost to the top. We had completed every single climbing pitch. All we had left was these sections that were getting considerably flatter and less rocky as we were starting to get towards the very top. And we were all kind of just in silence because we knew we were that close to the top when suddenly thunder struck. And the sound was really loud and it made us all like jump out of our skin. And it was it was crazy because it was this was the earliest our guides had said that they had ever had weather roll in. And no matter how close to the top we were, it was simply, nope, we have to turn around. And of course that is the right call to make. I would not have argued with that, but at the same time, of course, it's easy to be really bummed about that, and honestly quite angry at just the circumstance. And, you know, we had put all this effort in, and we were just now getting turned around so close to the top. But even as it started to grapple on us, and the wind was blowing at like 50 miles an hour, and it really was kind of just miserable, I realized that I was living. I was living more than really I had been for the last, for all of my summer and easily for the year before it. I was, this was raw, untamed adventure. And this was truly something that I would hopefully always be able to carry with me and there wasn't any place I'd rather be in this moment. There's nowhere that I wish I could have been, and I don't regret anything that happened. And I'm so glad that 
we even got turned around because of this epiphany that I had of just how incredible this scenario was even though things seemed so bad. And that was why I really wanted to paint this. This picture was actually a combination of two pictures that my dad and I got from a few days after the camp where we woke up super early and got some morning pictures of the Grand Teton with the incredible Alpen Glow on it. I tell this story because it really had this profound impact on me. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.